okay so I've just found a little knot here I don't know whether it'll pick it up but it's basically caused by his collar can you see that so the way to deal with knots is to start below them and brush the fur underneath it and then you can just separate it separate the coat very gently then just brush through and you'll find those little bits will come out and now I can go from skin out and I can see all this skin so the, you'll get you will get little knots around by the coat and, you, you, and it's just loose fur and it comes out in little tufts like that, that that's a little bit of fur that you shed but because they're a non-shedding breed it, it doesn't mean that the fur doesn't come out it just means it stays in the coat and that's what will cause your little knots so again my comb's not going through this where his collar's been I just start at the bottom bit and work my way up until I can get through all of the coat. So always take the collar off when you're grooming because um, you will find there are friction knots around the collar area. There we go and now we're clear all the way around. The other the areas to, to pay special attention to on a have and ease are the feet because obviously they're in touch with the ground and that's where they'll get knotty but more inside the legs here so inside the legs up to the armpits round the collar area if your dog has a collar on and also the base of the ear so so after small knots but not as bad as pelted you can get the bigger knots sorry if the dogs are in the room with me so this is Roger and I've just found a knot behind his ear can you see He's got such profuse hair and this is one of the places where you need to really be careful when you brush is because it's a place that does not. So another trick to deal with knots is this cornflower. I'm just going to sprinkle some cornflower and work it into his coat. Stay there. And work it into the knot. And see how it magically helps pull it all apart and it's literally it's like magic dust mind you don't want to put cornflower in a damp coat for obvious reasons so it really just helps break that knot down helps you pull it all apart and just work at it bit by bit. Right. I'm just rubbing it in, rubbing it into the knot, and then just continue to pull it apart. There we go. Just helps break the mats down. So a small knot you can just pull it apart and comb it out. A bigger knot like this, cornflower works. And again, just keep working at it, just keep pulling it apart until it's virtually gone. You can see now. There is no knot, just that tiny bit left. I just tease it out. Um, like candy floss really just tease it out bit by bit there's the last bit that will come out Can you see that not there not you, you don't need to see Rogie nearly done 
tease it out. And there you go, that's the culprit, caused all that matting. Okay, so this dog's coming from grooming, it's having ease, and he's got really thick mats on his feet. Can you see those? Really thick mats all down here and on the underside there. So the way to deal with those, they're never going to brush out in a million years. They're not going to break up, they're too heavily, um, too felted, they're pelted up. So the way to deal with a mat like that, and you'll get these when you're losing the puppy coat, is get your scissors in and just slice through it. You're not going to cut the mat out, you're just going to break it down so that you can comb through it. So I'm just getting my scissors in all this pelted area here and I'm just breaking it up, sliding them through. Can you see how it's all pelted, how it's all stuck together, which is what happens. So how to deal with mats is you, first of all, you've got to break them up. You've got to make them much smaller. So I'm just making sure I'm, with this finger, I know where his skin is so I'm not stabbing him because I can't see his skin because his fur is so pelted. And then getting my scissors and sliding it. Getting my scissors and sliding it through the whole of this area to break it all up. And that'll take me quite a while to do this. I know, sweetheart, it's not comfortable, is it? So I'm going to break it all up with the scissors. And I should be able to start combing it out bit by bit. I'm just going to do one area at a time. Can you see here right next to the skin how it's all knotted? See that? It's all knotted from here. So that's the big mat on its own. So we just break that one up. Sliding the scissors through it. And no, and no, good boy. And then start to comb it out. Comb out what you can and any bits that are really still very, very thick. Go back with the scissors slide them through and keep doing this until you can comb through all the fur and this won't spoil the fur I'm not cutting anything out of the fur here you go on good boy good boy I'm not I'm not cutting anything out I'm not spoiling the fur he'll have a full coat after but I've got to get all these mats broken down I'm going to get them out And I'm going to go on with the biggest comb that I've got and just start to brush. Come in. Comb, sorry, not brush. Start to comb them out. So you can see where I've broken them down, the mat's coming out now. That's a good boy. And you've just got to keep working at it until you can. Get your comb through. He's still very, very pelted. It's quite a bad one, actually. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. And the comb. Well, this is coming out now. Can you see there where I've loosened it? Good boy. So all the loose fur that's just stuck in his coat. And this is why it's so important to brush every inch of them. Because if you don't, the fur will mat. There we go. We're getting there now. See it coming out here? This is on his coat. Look at tufts. So I'm just going to keep working inch by inch on this leg until I can get every single bit of this big mat out. So here's another one. Can you see this mat here? See how it's matted? 
all the way around the leg that won't brush out so I'm gonna have to get my scissors in there and break all that up so that I can comb it through see the mats can you see them They're all connected all the way around the foot so just slide your scissors through the mat as much as you can to break it up as much as you can so that I can then go in with the comb good boy good boy I'm actually just going to slide them through take some of that out see how much of it's coming out and then when you've done that you can start to comb it start to pull all see the loose fur coming out now so to break it all down and get it all out bit by bit you've just got to be patient and take your time with knots 